Gemini, hi. So this is going to be a reading for August 14th through the 20th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Gemini. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Six of Pentacles. This is a good energy, you know, equal give and take there. Uh, definitely presenting itself as a, as a great energy you want to surround yourself with. Um, in the recent past, the Three of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Wands. Man, this feels like you were waiting for something, you know, something quite good. It's something that you truly desire that would make you feel good. And it's like, you know it's coming, it's just you have to wait for it or something like that. Um... Either that, or it could be the opposite of that in terms of you didn't even know it was coming towards you, uh, whatever this energy is, but it was better than you thought it would be when it did show up. So I don't know what, what, what kind of energy this is, but it's a good one. It just kind of involves a little bit of waiting. Um, in the current situation, the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Swords, the Hangman. Oi, 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 oi. What is happening here? It's like you want to leave a situation, you're right there, like really at the edge of just kind of, bah, I'm, I'm out of here. Um, but man, you're holding yourself back. Um, there's also a shift happening, a big one. So it's what's kind of blasting me off into space here is this whole contradiction of there's an energy moving, there's a shift happening, basically, and there you are just standing still as things are moving like crazy. Uh, but you do want to move. You're just not doing it. Move away from something, rather. Sit. Sit. Hey! Sit. He grabbed my finger, and he's starting to have really big teeth. They're still coming out. But, uh grabbed it my bad uh in the uh in the <laughs> cut it out cut it out you have plenty of toys there i'm not your toy right now go play in the immediate future the two of cups the queen of cups the king of swords <laughs> this is something that you want to make happen <laughs> It has to do with possibly another person. There's definitely the energy of love that's showing up here. And there's a lot of determination to get things going, to get things happen here in a very beautiful way. I think this is you, the King of Swords here, the one that makes things happen here. I'm leaning more towards somebody else, but it could be you. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see, doesn't matter. Somebody wants to make something happen here and it's something nice. So, let's do the Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> the Six of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Page of Cups. Yeah, there's a soul connection here that you're playing with, and it's definitely feeling good in the way that the energy is flowing between you and whoever this is. And it doesn't have to be romantic. I suspect it's not, uh, but it could be, I don't know. Uh, really nice flow to it, really nice flow, you know? So let's do the three of wands there in the recent past. Two of cups, the hermit, the four of swords. Man, you've been waiting for something here for quite a while. It does have to do with love. It does have to do with your heart here. There's been a lot of healing behind all that. So it's not just like, you know, I've got all this baggage. I've got all these issues that I didn't work with. I got like everything, bleh, bleh, you know, uh, no, there's been a lot of healing done on your side. And through that, there's a desire to, to share that beautiful healing energy with someone. 
you know? Um, and it feels like you've been waiting for a long time for that to happen. Let's do the Nine of Cups. But there's also a little bit of an expectation build up in there. You know, a little bit of, mm, I hope they come sooner than later, which is not the greatest. For the Nine of Cups, you get the King of Wands, the King of Cups, the Queen of Wands. Yeah, that's, you know, you kind of creating or shaping up what you need to come towards you um, tied up to that energy of love. And it's, it's definitely a perfect match in the way you envision it. You know, a lot of passion, a lot of love. Lots of great elements here. And it almost feels like you're building this up, you know, like you're creating this for whoever that is that carries that energy, how they look, how they feel, how they, you know, all of it. Hmm. I feel like somebody did kind of show up uh, that matched all that at some point. But let me see that Knight of Wands here. The Seven of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Seven of Swords. They did show up, but when they did, I don't know what the hell happened there, because you, <laughs> you ran for the hills. Uh, you're like, yeah, you know, they carry all of that, but then, again, they carry other stuff that makes me just want to take off. So I see them coming, I see that initial kind of like, whoa, take it easy, and then being like, okay, let's see what's up with this, and then being like, yeah, no, thank you. So there's a little bit of that going on. Um, they did carry the frequency. Maybe even the, the physical aspects that you built up in there with the frequency, but they also brought in some other stuff that wasn't necessarily matching you. Uh, let's do the Wheel of Fortune in the current situation. The Star, the Eight of Wands, the Hierophant. Let me see something else. Let's do the Seven of Swords. For the Seven of Swords, you get the Page of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Three of Swords. Let me do the Hangman. So I think something's cooking for you here. And you might not believe in yourself enough that you can pull this through, but I think you can. For the Hangman, you get the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Six of Pentacles. Um. I don't know if this is you communicating with the universe because it kind of feels like that where there's like this ongoing energy that you're putting out and it's coming back in and it's it's one of those not very conscious wise you know like you sitting out there at night looking at the stars and being like hey universe let's let's have a talk it's not even happening in that way it's way in the background of you you know it's almost like your higher self talking to the universe there but some things are playing out quite nice here in this exchange of energy and it's almost looking like it's there's some shifts there's some adjustments almost to um your path to where you're going to what you're building to what you're creating for yourself here and they're good adjustments like they're setting you on the right path here and there you are kind of taking this as the way you would translate this energy for yourself would be maybe you're starting to engage with something new something you've never done before or if you have maybe you're learning new stuff about it and you're quite confident about it but you have so much pain over the energy of self-esteem that you're not giving yourself enough credit that you think you can't pull this through even though the energy shows clearly that yes you can you know you just got to believe in yourself there so you may have the tendency to work with something or learn something new and put a lot of energy into that. But when it comes to actually putting everything into action, it's like, uh, can I do this? You know, um, yes, you can. And you've got a lot of energy from the universe here backing you up with that, too. Um, I do see you pushing through that pain that's kind of holding you back here and that insecurity that's shown up. And it's looking like it's building up into something quite nice. Now, I don't know if there's somebody else at the end of this that you're working with, a partner of some sort, or because uh, I kind of see you doing this all by yourself in terms of we're talking only about your energy, even if there is somebody else at the end of this. You know, so it's the way you show up in this. 
and it's quite nice, you know. You're definitely pushing through that insecurity um, and it's showing up big time. And what you're doing <laughs> to push through it ironically, which is really, really nice, is actually standing still as the, these energies of I don't believe in myself and mm, can I do this, can I not, you know, your energy is actually standing quite still in front of that and just letting those pass by, you know, almost like an observer of them. Almost like they're not even yours, because, you know, they're not. They're your mind's creation. Um, let's do the Two of Cups in the immediate future. The Five of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Nine of Pentacles. There's quite a big shift happening on your side here. Let me do the Queen of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Sun, the Devil, and the King of Swords. The Lovers, the Five of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. You're battling a little bit of an energy of codependency here. So you're showing me a sense of I can do this on my own. And then you revert back to a sense of, but I want somebody by my side. It would be so much easier. And yeah, probably it would, but it takes a lot away from you. You know, it could be easier, but that doesn't mean you can't do this all on your own because you are. And then you're kind of proving that to yourself. You get to that point of, ah, oh, yeah, I did it. And then going back to that pattern of that need, it's not a want, it's a need to have somebody right there with you through this experience. So it's almost like struggling a little bit between the concept of independence versus codependence, you know? Um, Cause again, it's not a want, it's a need to have somebody there. Um, you're getting to the point of proving yourself that yes, you can do whatever you set your mind to do. You're gonna be able to do it no matter what fear shows up, no matter what, what shows up along the way. And then falling back into your heart and instead of giving that love to yourself for what's happening for your process here, you want to extend it out there so that somebody else comes in, you share that with them and then everything's great and I have this cherry on top kind of a situation and it's great. It's like you're not allowing yourself enough time to fall into these energies of I can do this and I love myself and I, you know, like I, I have everything going for me. I don't need to share it with someone. If I want to, that's a different story, but I don't need to share it. But then you fall back into the need, which is an unhealthy pattern because you're associating your happiness with somebody else being there. And that's not true. You just proved it that no. There you are, all on your own doing this. So it's a little bit of a conflict here between you and you, <laughs> the independent you versus the codependent you, you know, um, that you're struggling with. I don't necessarily see anybody involved here um, physically. It could be that there is someone that you're bouncing off this energy off of, but it doesn't really matter if there is anybody or not, this is about you, you know, and you're, struggle with this so it's a good struggle because i feel like eventually you'll fall into the right place for you um so let's see what the universe has to close it off queen of wands king of cups six of cups yeah there's a soul connection right there and it's, it's looking like it has all the characteristics that you envisioned back there where you were kind of creating this you know perfect match to whatever the, and I told you, you've been doing that for a while and if they did show up, you ran for the hills because again, they probably brought something else so you're still on this idea of um, wanting to pull in that perfect connection, you know, that perfect resonance, other energy which is great do it out of want, not out of need, when you do it out of want, it's a different story, it's probably going to come through just like that with no baggage that's going to make you run. Um, when you do it out of need, that's you know through the uh, energy of codependence, which this situation right here wants to teach you about independence. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.